what's good my tribe this is day 72 of the 90 day youtube challenge uh, yeah just checking in today i'm not really sure what to share i got so much on my mind I'm going through a lot right now uh, so many different projects i feel like a lot of my energy has been scattered lately there's just so much i want to do i've been having a lot of having a hard time kind of prioritizing on you know, what is the most important what needs to be done first and sort of order of operations um yeah i guess one thing that i have been thinking about and kind of chewing on is this whole concept of the healing journey and um you know when is it over is it ever over is it, are we always on a healing journey and I guess what brought about this was, <laughs> on the one hand, uh, it's awesome seeing this sort of rise in interest in plant medicine and healing and shadow work and the spiritual path in general. Um, but I've also seen this sort of, you know, with even within that kind of community, an addiction of sorts to you know, wanting to heal and wanting to overcome. Um, there, there seems to be like, I mean, it, it could be a, stemming from a, a, just a overall lack in acceptance within the sort of larger societal view, if that makes any sense. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to get at is that sometimes we don't let ourselves, uh, sometimes we just get in the way of ourselves, <laughs> I guess would be a good way to put it. You know, we're so anal about our healing journey and what we need to do, so worried about what we need to do that we get so centered and focused on ourselves. And sometimes it's, you know, especially if you have, you know, a career or a job in this line of work where this is what you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a tricky balance to remember, you know, to take time for self-care and self-love. And on the other hand, you know, you should always be aware of when you are content, when you are satisfied, when you are good, and you can then turn the attention on to another person, a project, or whatever. And so finding that balance and noticing that contentment within myself has been a struggle, not only, but you know, something that's been very apparent recently in my life of just you know, remembering that Yes, we should always be doing these healing techniques and taking care of ourself, uh, but always notice, you know, when that process is done and when you are actually content. So just some words of, uh, I don't know, just thoughts that are coming through at the moment. This idea of contentment and uh, getting out of one's way. I think it's a, a lifelong skill to learn. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all, some thoughts for the day. I hope you are all well. As always, with love and might, may peace be with you.